Hello, we're trying something new today. I got a mic and I'm ready to go. Um, this is Crypto Dream, not financial advice. Uh, do your own due diligence and we're going to talk about something different today. This is for entertainment. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the things I've learned from cryptocurrency. So when I started out not too long ago, I had to learn quite a few things. The first thing I'd probably say is do not have the fear of missing out. Do not FOMO because then you'll end up paying higher costs than you would like. So as I've previously stated, one of the first ones I really got into was should be in you. And I feel like I got in at a pretty decent point, but I found a way to come up with quite a bit of money. And when the peaks started happening around October, um, <laughs> so basically it started out about 0 .00, um, 0 .000027. So if, let's see, let's go to, yeah, that's the year. So October, so I started right about here. Um, we'll say that's October 6th is what it says. And then, you know, it kind of had this little up and down. And by October 21st, which is, you know, two weeks later, or whatever, it shot up and shot up. So I was buying at multiple points going all the way to it says 8.1, but I know it's like 8.9. Um, so, you know, I got all excited. I had all this stuff going on that it was shooting up. And I had this fear that it was going to reach the one cent dream before I even... I, I, I didn't have enough of it, basically. <laughs> so I bought up at that huge peak. And as you can see... It didn't take long for this to just drop. So this was at November 27th, and by November 4th, it had dropped down almost a half of its peak, all-time high. Um, so my advice to you is do not get, do not let your emotions, do not let your excitement get the best of you, because a lot of times things will peak and things will drop and things will go back up and things will drop it's it's quite a ride <laughs> i still have confidence even though things tend to be going down lower and lower that things will prevail um also wanted to say that when you look at Bitcoin, so another thing I'd like to recommend is I recommend you ride the storm. So <laughs> just because you see a peak, like we did with Shippy and you, and then it drops down, like should be in you, and you see this thing, and you think, oh, it's never going to go back to where it was. You know, it's done. And, you know, many people just give up. I mean, it just takes waiting and waiting and patience. But uh, if you ride the storm, not all cases will be like this, by the way. <laughs> you can have new plateaus, new peaks. Um, it's not only Bitcoin, you know, this, even one that I don't prefer would be Dogecoin. <sighs> so, let me go down to, so, they have some 
if you would have sold at this peak and just gotten out of the position, then you would have lost out on all this. And even down here, you know, you just sometimes have to stick with it. Um, one coin and one coin only. Um, Bitcoin does really well. But one of the things is um, if you get into a position very early on, then a lot of times uh, at the very start, it might start off low, but it multiplies. But uh, Bitcoin, you're not going to see it double as much. It might be reliable, but you might want to just kind of diversify, kind of test your wires, look at what I do is like to look at is the mat supply, just kind of just scan through all the different things. Is it a limited supply? Is it, um, you know, can they add to it? So another thing I recommend is just because something's being hyped up an incredible amount, uh, doesn't mean you should go all in, you know, doesn't mean that you should just jump into a position. There's plenty of things that are going to come around that people hype up so much. I mean, you look at Squid Games or the coin, the Squid Games, which was a rug pull, is that there's all this hype and all this excitement because it's shooting off to the moon. But there might be a reason for that. It might be a honeydew where everyone gets in, but they can't get out of their position. And the only one that can get out of the position is the person that started it, and then they just take all their money. Um, there's different kinds, though, so just be aware that there's many scams, and you want to most definitely look into all those. <laughs> um, another one I really think is that you should cost average. So a lot of times you have, a ch you might, like the position that I'm in when it comes to Shibby and you, is that you have a situation where if you buy up here and then you bought all your all the coins up here instead of selling the position or something when you're losing you can also buy it on different times you know you can average it so if you bought some here and you kept buying it as it went down then the average price of each of them should actually be even, you know, it's not going to average out to this. So you can still play it for a win. And that's one of the things I really learned is that I need to average down. Um, obviously, you want to be sure about your position. You want to think about it clearly. But those are the five things that I've learned. Um, one thing that I'll just throw out as a bonus, I've learned that I don't like Ethereum gas fees. That's my personal preference is there's um, very few that I see worth it for Ethereum. Um, obviously, Ethereum's extremely successful and I'm not doubting the future of Ethereum, <laughs> but some of the gas fees are outrageous. I mean, the other day I was looking at it and I was trying to transfer some coins and it would go from $16 to $10 and it would just bounce all over the place. So if you do use Ethereum and you have to deal with the gas fees, make sure you do it at a time when it's less traffic. All right, so... What are some of the things that you've learned? Uh, obviously, some of these could possibly contradict. I mean, just because one of these things is said doesn't mean that the opposite might be true. You know, there's times where you don't want to have the fear of missing out, and there's times where you might miss an opportunity if you don't jump in at a good point. So do what's true for you. All right, so what did you learn? I mean, what have you learned? What do you believe? Uh, is there anything that you would really like to point out? 
I most definitely appreciate you guys watching this video. And I hope that this crypto dream of ours pays off. Thank you.